Welcome back to my channel. So I've got another Valentine's Day makeup look. This is the last one I'll be doing. So I went with a more soft, natural look today because my other two have been a little more on the bold side. So I thought I would do something soft but still has the pink tones in it. I feel like this is just perfect to Valentine's Day. I absolutely love pink tones. Like pink is my favorite color. So Valentine's Day makeup is like my favorite thing in the world. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now. If you would like to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm just starting off with my NYX Photo Loving Primer. And I'm just using this all over my face to cancel out any redness. This is a silicon primer, so it is also just going to smooth out my face. And for my foundation, I'm using my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I'm just going to put like a pump of the Revlon Colorstay in to make it match my skin tone though. I thought this foundation matched me a lot better than it did. And it was the only foundation I took to New Zealand because I didn't want to have to take two foundations and mix them or anything. I just wanted one. And I remembered that one matching me quite well. And then in New Zealand, I was pretty orange. <laughs> Didn't match me as well as I had hoped. I think I put on way too much foundation. <laughs> but I mix up too much on the back of my hand. And I can never bring myself to waste it. I always just put it on my face and then my foundation just looks awful. This is workable though. It's not too bad. And to conceal my under eyes, I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And to set my face, I'm just using my Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder. I am so close to using all of this up. I'm just pressing some under my eyes to help brighten up my under eyes, hide these genetic dark circles that I am blessed with. The contour, I'm taking my Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Light to Medium and I'm just mixing these two shades. This contour palette is really not pigmented compared to some of the other palettes I own, which is surprising for Anastasia Beverly Hills. But I actually prefer it because it's easier to just build it up as you go. I found with my Tarte one after using this, I went in way too heavy with it and it's really hard to blend out once you've already put a ton on. Whereas this one, I can kind of keep building it up until I'm happy with how much I've contoured my face. The blush I'm using today is my Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Adorable. Essence blushes are so good. They are some of my favourite blushes and they're like $5. And for highlight I'm using my Makeup Revolution Blushing Hearts in the shade Peachy Pink Kisses. This is such a pretty pink toned highlight. It reminds me a lot of how the shades Starburst and Crushed Pearl look mixed from the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit. I'm wanting my brows to be a little more on the natural side, but because I've got the dark hair now, I do need to still fill them in pretty dark. So I'm going to go into my Anastasia Pro Brow Palette, and I'm just going to use the shade Ebony. I really want to get just one of the brow powders as a single, because I do want to save this palette just for my kit, and I don't really like using it often because it is just meant for my kit, but it just works so well with my brows at the moment with this darker hair. But the brow powders in Australia are $39 each and I don't wanna pay that much, that's so expensive. And I'm just setting my brows using my Essence Make Me Brow. So for my eyes, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I'm not priming my eyes because I did just bring the concealer onto my eyes when I was doing the rest of my face, but I am just going to set my eyes down and give them a nice clean base using the shade Divinity. Next, I'm just going to mix the shades Almond Truffle and Mocha, and I'm just running these through my crease. I 
I am just going to focus this shade more towards the outer third. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to sweep this onto the lower lash line. Next, I'm taking the shade Bordeaux and I'm using this to deepen up the outer third and I'm going to bring it about halfway into the crease. And again, just sweeping that onto the lower lash line as well. Next, I'm taking my ColourPop shadow in the shade Just For Fun. I'm just using my finger to apply this. I'm just going to apply it into the center and inner third of my lid. I actually bought this shadow with a Valentine's Day look in mind. I just knew it would look so nice with a nice soft Valentine's Day look. So I'm just going back in with the brush that I had Bordeaux on and I'm just blending that Colourpop shadow into the rest of the shadows. I want this to be a tiny bit more pink, so I'm going to go in with the shade Cotton Candy. So I'm pressing this into the centre of the lid, just in the middle of where I put Bordeaux and where I put that Colourpop shadow. And then I'm just taking the shade Satin Sheets and I'm just using this to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm just putting on some mascara. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes with this. So I'm just putting on some light natural lashes. These are my socialized lashes in the style Sweet Talker. And I'm just going over the lash band with some liner. For my lips, I'm first just going to line them with my Essence Lip Liner in the shade Satin Move. And now I'm just going in with my Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Vintage. Alright, so that is it for this look. I hope those of you who are more of a soft, natural makeup kind of person did like this video. As usual, if you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to do that. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video.